Today we're going to talk about drill bits. Hello everyone, Colin Canette here for Woodwork Web. Today we're going to talk about drill bits and in five minutes I'm going to make you an expert on the most popular woodworking bits. There's the twist bit, we're going to talk about that for metal and for wood. There's a brad point and you can barely see there's a little tip on the end of it. This is a wood bit only. Then there's a Forstner bit. We're going to talk about these three primarily today. This bit down here, and you can tell by the shank on that too, it has a hexagon shank. This is called a spade bit. These are typically for construction, renovation. Uh, they make a pretty rough hole. This is a modification of a twist bit and a spade bit. This is also primarily for construction, for drilling through 2x6s, 2x4s, um, heavy wood like that. And This is an auger bit, uh, and normally they would come with a square end, but I bought this at a garage sale because I wanted this size, and I just hacked the end of it off so that I could use it in my portable drills. This bits. These are the most common bits in the world. Probably everybody that I know owns these, and these are good for wood and they're also good for metal. The black ones are typically coated with something that prevents the drill bit from getting rusty. The gold ones are an identical bit. The only difference, they're coated with something called titanium and it's actually titanium night ride. And what that is, it's like a, a ceramic that they coat on these that helps the drill bits last longer. The next bit I want to talk about is the brad point and if you look at that you can actually see that there's a little sharp point at the very front of these. These are for wood only. You can't use these for metal. Uh, you might use them for soft plastics but really only for wood. And on this drill bit, like any drill bit, the cutting edge is right at the very tip. So that's the area that you need to keep sharp. The last bit that I want to talk about today is something called the Forstner bit. And it's a little bit like the Brad point in that it has a little sharp point right at the end to help center the bit into the wood. But the nice thing with a Forstner bit is that they drill a nice flat hole, if that's what you're looking for, and sometimes you are, and they come in a very varying sizes. And if you're drilling bigger holes, this is one of the bits that's often preferred. As you know, if you've been working with wood for a while, these dark areas are a little bit harder than the light areas. That bit will not, it, it will actually move. And you know, so you can actually, sometimes if you want to take the time, you can actually put a, a point in there. And sometimes that'll work, but sometimes it doesn't. But let's see if this one will slip on this piece of wood. Sometimes it just moves over a little bit. Sometimes it'll go in straight. Okay, that one went in fine. If the bit doesn't go in exactly where you want and you decide that you want to make another cut, when you use a twist bit, the problem with twist bits is this. They don't... You, it's very hard to make another cut because it wants to slide into the hole. And that's why we like using a brad point. It digs right in. It it doesn't, it won't move around. And when you cut in, it digs right in. But the nice thing with this is if you want to drill another hole right beside, this is a much better bit to do that because as you put the bit in, it won't slide into the other hole. It digs right in. Let's have a look at a Forstner bit. And it's a little bit like a brad point in that it has a little nub there as well. But when you're using a Forstner bit, with, as with most bits, you need to make sure that you clear the hole so that you're not plugging it up with wood.
But the other thing with a Forstner bit that's good is again, you can overlap holes. Well, I was a, bit, a little bit aggressive on that one. Let's try it. So there's an example of two overlapping holes. Well, this concludes our video on drill bits. It's a pretty simple topic, but not everybody knows or understands all of the different characteristics of drill bits. So, if you haven't already, we ask you to subscribe to our channel. We ask you to go to our Facebook page and give us a like there. It's very important to us. And if you haven't already and you're using Twitter, we ask you to follow us on Twitter. So, I'm Colin Cadet for Woodwork Web. Thanks for watching.